Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Here with a continuation. As you see, we have taken a break. People have come and gone. And it's just basically me and Davita burning the midnight oil. She shared some rich stuff and I want you to hear it. We both had a rich discussion on this last go round. Okay. Ready, set, go. Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Listen, we're still on and cracking. Uh, it's still Christmas. It is Christmas 12, midnight is two minutes. And uh, two minutes past midnight. And I am on the phone with Davina, and she is sharing a story. This is going to blow your socks off. Show you how powerful God's name, the name of Jesus, how powerful prayer is to God in the name of Jesus. And she's going to tell her story. That, and we're on conference call, by the way. Thank you so much. Go on, um, yeah. tell your story. That was phenomenal. Um, like I was telling Pat, we were just exchanging stories, just talking about, you know, different things. And I was telling her about a time that um, this has been after a couple times of actually witnessing the supernatural and the like, reality of the supernatural. And um, my husband and I, there was a man that would walk um, around yet, like, you know, yelling at himself, but it was, like, more than one person talking. They thought he was, like, bipolar and stuff, and um, one day I heard him, and I was, like, I, I feel like he's possessed with demons, and the gentleman was actually walking on the other side of the street, and he had got all the way to the middle of the next block away from my house. He was more than, well, more than 20 feet or 30 feet away from us, and I just had a feeling to pray for him, so I just prayed, like, you know, Lord God, I pray in Jesus' name that you just look at this man from me. Okay. She said her, her sound was going in and out, and it gets real um, uh, tinny when it does that. But she asked the man if he'd like her to pray for him. And he, you know, she prayed for him and asked God to deliver him from the demons. Demons are torturing him. And as soon as I said that, my husband looked about a foot, like, a foot away from me, and my husband could like, softly hear the prayer prayed it together and then as soon as I was praying it and said Jesus that gentleman was walking away from us his back was turned to us and he just turned around like the, the body language was so evil and okay in case you didn't understand that <clears throat> excuse me still getting over the cold she said that as he was walking away he turned around and glared at them and she I think she said it was an evil look and she said you could just see the demons. And uh but anyway, uh the rest of the story is really rich. You gotta hear this. And ugly looked straight at me. Like as soon as I said that prayer, it was really strange. Like he, I felt like he heard the prayer, even though I whispered it all. And um we kinda like got pretty so down it. It seemed like the demons heard the prayer and then the man was yeah. glaring at you. Yeah, immediately as I prayed, he turned around and just glared back at us. Like, no way he could hear me. He was literally like down the next, almost to the middle of the next block and looked straight and just stared at us for a few minutes. Like didn't even stop, just stared and then turned around and kept walking. And we were like, whoa, this is crazy. So we went inside and I don't know how many days have passed, but we had went out. And my husband looked out on our gate, and there was, he wore, like, a military, like, dark green jacket, and he looked right. like Now, she said that a few days later, I, I messed up the story. She prayed for him secretly. Um, but I think she asked her husband if they could agree in prayer together for him. But anyway, right at this point, she says that they came out, you know, a few days or several days later, and there was a coat, the army coat that the man was wearing was slung over her gate. Why her gate? Mmm, that was creepy. Listen to this. And he was like, what is this? Did you leave something? And then he looked and he's like, the jacket. And so uh, we're like, oh man, this isn't good. So we, we threw the jacket away. We didn't know what that meant. We were kind of creeped out and thinking right. that could have been something bad. And a little bit after that, um, we were outside, you know, we, we stood on our porch and and um, there's a man that walked by, and we didn't, I didn't think anything of it. Now, he didn't, and then he looked at now, there was a guy that looked normal that walked by 
They didn't think anything of it. And then they looked again. <laughs> She's whispering because that's what her husband was doing so the man wouldn't hear them. He said, that's the man we prayed for. So you guys are whispering, that's the guy that you would pray for that left his coat on your gas. <clears throat> He was a break. He did. He was not yelling. He had himself. He was himself. clean, kind of normal looking, huh? Like, yeah, I mean, he looked good, and I was like, whoa! I was like, wow! And I just praised God because I was just like, and we never seen him ever again. Um, oh, God wanted you to see the result, the fruit of your prayer. Oh yeah, that was that. Because I think too, because we were nervous, like we didn't know why that jacket was on our gate, and right. we didn't know if that was not. We didn't know what. It was kind of like a lot intimidated or what and so then it was just amazing to see like something so simple that took not even a minute of my time right to, like save a man's life like people thought he was crazy you know what I mean so yeah, yeah. they thought he was worthless too yeah and then he just walking around free looking regular and good it was just really it was really crazy yeah, so, yeah you told me yours and I'm gonna tell you mine now, you guys, this should blow your mind. Now, uh, her story blows me away more than mine does, because mine isn't as dramatic of an ending as hers. But she at least got to see the change. I was at the Ralph's grocery store. I'm parked about midway, halfway down the parking lot, so I'm nowhere near the closeness of the store. Now, I'm going to stop here because these videos can go on and on. But you already heard my story on other videos. I will do a snippet of it later on um, and upload it, but I just didn't want to drag this one video out for both stories. Okay, hang on, stay tuned.